If you are into e-wallets, then you have certainly heard or used PayMaya. You can keep your money there, lets you send funds to other PayMaya users, make bank transfers, pay bills, and most recently, buy cryptocurrencies. Now, it's getting a huge upgrade. Hi guys, Earl here of Yuga Tech. You might have already heard the awesome news as the PayMaya app has rebranded itself to Maya with its digital banking services powered by Maya Bank. Now, it's not just an e-wallet anymore, but an all-in-one money app complete with integrated digital banking services from a BSP-licensed digital bank. Not only does it have a new look, but it also packed with new features, including the feature-rich e-wallet that we know, an integrated digital bank, credit, crypto, and so much more. Maya is calling itself everything and a bank and promises to offer services that will help users save, spend, grow, and master their money all in just one app. This sounds pretty exciting, so let's do a quick tour and see what it has to offer. Let's start with Maya Wallet. One of the things you'll notice about the Maya app is the redesign. It's mostly white and black text and some green accents. Apart from the minimalist look, the app uses a more modern interface that's quite easy on the eyes. It also replaced its logo with a sleeker one. It no longer features the bird wings. Word from the Maya team is they use a custom-made font called Tokotype for their new logo, which features a bird's pack hidden in some corners of the letters. According to them, they will also implement a dark mode pretty soon, which is exciting as we've never really seen that yet in other fintech apps in the market. Maya still sports the wallet feature that you have come to love with PayMaya. You can still pay your bills, buy a load, transfer funds, and pay via QR or virtual card using the app. To add funds to your Maya account, you can still use the methods used before with PayMaya. Those are your linked bank account, select convenience stores, malls, padella centers, and more. Best of all, you can still cash in for free at over 90,000 touch points nationwide. Let's move on to the second part, which is Maya Savings, which, as it implies, is a savings account. As mentioned earlier, Maya Bank has already received its digital banking license from Banco Central in September 2021, meaning the savings account features in the Maya app is directly powered by Maya Bank. Maya is the first fintech app in the country that combines an e-wallet with its own integrated digital bank. With this, Maya promises a seamless experience when it comes to saving your money. There also doesn't hurt that they offer an initial savings interest rate of 6% until August 31, 2022. This is one of the highest offered in the country to date. It's important to note though that the Maya savings is only available to upgraded Maya users. So if you haven't upgraded your account yet, you can use the guide that I will be linking down below. Once you have a Maya savings account, there are two ways to fund it. The first is by transferring funds to your Maya wallet, which is the fastest route. The second one is via other banking apps. For this, all you have to do is go to your mobile banking app and transfer funds to your Maya savings account. It has its own bank name, account name, which is your name, and account number. So treat it like a regular banking account. If you already have a Maya savings account, here's some awesome news for you. You are automatically upgraded to a powered user, which means your account limit is now at 500,000 pesos, making it easier than ever to give your savings a boost. Deposits are also insured by PDIC for up to 500,000 pesos. Once you have your Maya savings account already set, there's another feature you might want to check out, which is personal goals. Personal goals let you save for specific purposes like funds for Ovis's trip, a gadget, or a business, and track them all at the same time. This feature lets you save five goals at a time, and the best part is you can earn 6% interest rate for savings max of 1 million pesos per goal. To start a personal goal, all you need to do is open up your Maya app, go to settings, tap on create a personal goal, select the mood that best fits your particular goal, key in the goal name, due date, and goal amount, then hit continue. Check your goal details, then tap confirm, enter the OTP once received. And lastly, deposit money to your personal goals account. This is very easy to set up and we are able to open a personal goals account in just less than 5 minutes. 
This is a handy feature to help you be on top of your finances, especially if you are saving up for multiple purposes at the same time. If you're wondering if you can still use your PayMaya virtual and physical card with the new Maya, yes, you can. The virtual card is just rebranded to the new Maya look. Simply go to your cards section and you will be able to see your previously linked PayMaya cards. You can also get the new Maya physical card which features a slick, minimalist design similar to the Maya app interface. The new Maya card isn't just about aesthetics, it also gives you extra rewards too. When you use the Maya Visa card for your transactions, you get a 1% cashback with a minimum spend of 800 pesos. You can get a maximum reward of 200 pesos per month until July 31. You can also have the option to order Maya cards inside the app starting at 200 pesos for a solo card or 150 pesos with the current sale. You can buy in two cards or three sets as well if you purchase Maya physical card online at www.store.maya.ph. You can get discounts for purchase bundles of five cards and you may also purchase the Maya physical card from these stores. The SM Store Business Services, Robinson's Department Store Business Centers, and Selected Padala Agents Nationwide. Next is Maya Credit. We all know that banks are not just offering savings, but credit. And it's amazing to know that Maya Banks also powers that in the Maya app. Maya Credit is a low-cost credit line that you can use to pay for your bills, buy a load, or even buy a new gadget whenever you're short in cash. It offers up to 15,000 pesos credit limit with a service fee of 5% based on the credit used within the billing period. It doesn't require any additional documents, and you can find out if you're eligible quickly. Once approved, you can access the available credit within seconds. Now, all you have to do is transfer it to your Maya wallet and use it to pay for your purchase or bills. What we like most about this is that you can set up your desired billing date so you can easily pay your credit bills during your Swaldo day. Pretty neat. Isn't that amazing? It's like having your own credit card, which is great for first-timers who want to build their credit. Just a note though that Maya has a set of qualification to help you determine if you are eligible for a credit line. These qualifications include upgraded Maya account, similar to savings, and a good credit score with Maya. If you find out that you are not eligible for credit yet, just upgrade your account and keep using the Maya app. And who can forget crypto? This feature was launched by PayMaya in April and we are happy to see that it is still in Maya. Maya allows users to buy, sell, and hold crypto in just one app. This June, Maya is expanding this crypto coins list to 15 with additional coins like Algorand, Apecoin, Avalanche, Dodge, and Stellar. What we love about Maya Crypto is it's super beginner friendly. If you're just starting out your crypto journey, you can learn about the basics of crypto using the guides available in this feature. You can also buy crypto for as low as one peso, so you don't have to spend much to try it out. Once you're able to buy crypto, you can hold and sell it in the app. You can even spend your earnings using Maya. Whether you want to pay your bills, shop, buy load or deposit it to your savings account so it earns 6% interest rate. And that concludes our quick tour. So far, we're liking the new layout and features. It's not just an e-wallet now, but an all-in-one money app. Soon, Maya says that they will be launching new services including sending money via your chosen username. What do you guys think? Are you excited to check out the new Maya app? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more content. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And be sure to visit uvitech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Narelle, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.